Just recently, I started watching a new YouTuber. His name is John Jackson. And the other day, I was watching one of his old videos from about a year ago. And in the video, he is recreating a sand simulation from the game called Noida. I've never actually played this game before, but I've seen it before. It's pretty cool. I think it's like a sandbox game where all the pixels are simulated, basically. So it's like one of those old sandbox games. And that kind of reminded me of when I was younger, I used to go to my grandparents' house and they had one of those old sandbox games on their computer. And I would play around with it. So in his video, as you can see here, he, he went ahead and he actually tried to make his own simulation himself with the sandbox. And I decided that's something I also wanted to do myself. So this here is my code. It's made in C++ and with the SDL2 library. It's really simple. Um, just to showcase some of the things. I have all the blocks, basically all the different items that you can put on the screen in the sandbox. They all have their own ID that correlates to them. And I have a material structure which keeps track of the ID, keeps track of the color. There's not using any images or anything. Just every single one has a different color set to it. And then this right here, tick. It's used to keep track of any sort of countdown that I want to keep track of or anything else like that for certain types of items, such as uh, how long it takes for the sand to dissolve in water or things like that, or how long it takes for the fire to disappear and turn into smoke. And then it's really simple, basically. But as John explained in his video, which I'll link in the description as well, you guys should check it out. But basically, how it works, it's, it's really simple, but you just have every th block fall. And then as it's falling, all you have to do is check if it touches a block. And once it checks if it touches, you can see if there's a block that's empty to the left or the right. And if there's a block empty to the left or the right, you can just have it move to that left or right position. And then as you can see, I can make it so I can drop more. And it kind of builds up these pyramid structures as such. And then for setting up water, it's pretty similar, except for the water you want it to be able to flow so the water itself isn't going to build up into one of these pyramids so if there's nothing down below it to the left or the right you also want to give an option to be able to keep it letting it go to spread out so as you can see that's what it does here it's not the greatest as you can see it kind of spreads out right here and then it kind of leaves leaves little clumps and then say if I wanted to drop the sand back into it the sand will just push straight through the water and lift the water up and then I have this stone right here and the stone is just a solid object and then there you can just fill it up with anything along with I believe this is the salt so the salt as you can see it uses that tick timer and it disappears and dissolves in the water after just a few seconds and right here is just dirt it works the exact same way as the sand and and here's a wood so the wood is just like the stone, it's a solid object, except for the wood can catch fire. So we have this fire particle right here, and as you can see, the fire particle just spreads. Uh, it either goes left or right, it's random, and then it lifts up. And then as it lifts up, it uses the tick and it dissolves into, or it doesn't dissolve, but it turns into the smoke. And then the smoke can kind of pile up the ceiling, and then it uses the tick to disappear. Um, so we can set this below in the fire, and you can see it burns through all the wood already and then this right here is a sponge I don't know if it's that clear to see but basically how the sponge works is any sort of liquid that you pour into it will just dissolve as you can see right there it uses the tick so it doesn't disappear instantly but then it'll pick it up after a second and it's basically it works just like that And then right here, I have this infinite block. And basically, infinite block just makes it so anything that touches it will just create an infinite amount of it. It's right there. You can just make it so it just pours out water as such. And it's basically it. It's really simple. But uh, I just thought it was a cool project. I just wanted to show you to you guys. And that's basically everything. I, there might be, let's see, there's this lava right here. The lava, for the most part, just works just like the water, except for it dissolves the water as well or you know it heats it up and it burns through some of the objects um yeah so that's basically all of that let me pause this but yeah so that's basically how everything works it's really simple it's not the greatest but i just want to showcase it to you guys and maybe you guys thought it'd be something neat to work on your own it's a really simple project and i hope you guys have a great day and also just one last thing before i let you guys go here 
Like I said, I'll have all this stuff linked in the description. But for anyone that's new to the channel or anyone that has any comments, I don't always check all the comments. So if you guys have specific questions to me, or I don't check them always immediately. So you guys can join the Discord. It'll be in the description. And you guys can ask any for any help or anything in here for anything you guys need help. Also, we're about to reach 2K subscribers. Uh, thank you guys again so much for subscribing, whoever's new, whoever's been here for a while. This is really exciting. It's pretty neat. And as well, one of these last videos right here, I have an interview where I talked with Heart Beast, uh, Ben. It's a different YouTuber. So if you guys haven't already listened to that, you should check it out and see his insights. It's really neat. And this right here is my Patreon. If you guys want to support the channel, it really helps out a lot. But thanks again for everyone for watching and see you guys again next time. Bye.